Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to quickly remove a person from a photo. Now you may have a photo of someone on the beach or you may have a family reunion or something and you want to take someone out who doesn't belong there. In this case, we have two girls at the beach. We're going to take this one out because we just want the photo of that one. To do that in Photoshop Elements 13, 14, or 15, we just select the Lasso tool and we draw a line around this person. I'm just going to get as much as I can. It doesn't have to be close, just enough to, that the person is covered. Now that the line is there, we go to Edit, and we come down where it says Fill Selection. We click that, and on Fill Selection, we're going to choose Content Aware. Now we have a number of other choices, but Content Aware is what we want, and we click OK. And you can see that that person is now gone. It actually does a pretty good job. Unless someone had told you that someone was there, you wouldn't know that we'd removed a person from that image. We can do the same with other people. If we want to move this person, again, we can use our lasso tool. Just draw around her. Doesn't have to be precise. Once we have that, we go up to Edit. We come to Field Selection. We make sure we've selected Content Aware. We click OK. And that person is gone as well. If you look real closely, you can probably see that some of the waves here have duplicated. But in many cases, depending on the background, when you use that, it'll look great. This option of using the lasso tool under edit and then fill in background is only available in Photoshop Elements 13, 14, and 15. It's not available in earlier versions. And if you have an earlier version and I've just opened Photoshop Elements 12, what will happen is you can use the lasso tool and you can do the lasso like we did earlier. And when you go up to edit, you have an option called field selection. That looks good. And under field selection, you would want to look for the content aware field, but we don't have that in these older versions of Photoshop Elements. That's not really a problem because there's still a way to do it. In older versions of Photoshop Elements, we use the Spot Healing tool. We click on that. And on the Spot Healing tool, we choose the size of the brush we want. You can see here the size of the brush. You make sure that you click Content Aware, and then you just draw over whatever it is you want to remove. I want to make sure that you get everything you want to remove. And once you do that, Photoshop Elements look at the background and decides what needs to be removed. If you miss a couple things, that's okay because you can come back and take those out. And you can see it does almost as good a job as the Lasso Edit Content Fill tool. Again, you can use it to correct anything that didn't come out the way that you want it. So again, in, in earlier versions of Photoshop Elements, you want to use the Spot Healing tool. And with the Spot Healing tool, you want to be sure that Content Aware is turned on and then choose the size of the brush that you need. So if you're going to move a larger element, choose a brush size that will get most of them. And we'll use this one right here. We'll take her out. And you can see that it's done. i got a small little area up there. I'll choose a smaller brush and get that out. And there you go. So whether you're using newer versions of Photoshop or the older version, you can still remove items from the image. And in most cases, it's going to look pretty good. Anyway, I thought you might want to know about this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.